Hey, what's up guys? So I'm out here at the Oaky Woods uh, Wildlife Management Area. And uh, I don't know what's going um, So I just had to fix something on here. Yeah, and it's super minor, it was just rattling. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I did. So just threw a couple zip ties on here to keep, and threw a, a glove in here to keep it kind of from, from rattling. And I think it's gonna work pretty well. It might still rattle a little bit, but a lot better than it was. And you'll hear it in one of the other videos. It's just going nuts. But um, and I, I'll I'll take a take a minute here and show you what I bring with me whenever I go ride. Uh, just a few couple few things that I like to keep on hand just in case you know something goes wrong. You know zip ties. So I got this little ammo can full of goodies. Um, first thing, zip ties. I uh, got an extra fuel filter. Got some extra uh, um, ignition wires. There you go. Some extra spark plugs. You know, they're all different ones, but they're they're ones that have worked in the in the past for me. So I like to keep those on hand just in case. Uh, extra uh, fuses. Some extra wire connectors. I got an extra belt for my MST kit. WD-40. Some F4 tape. Um, so obviously a spark plug socket is nice to have. What else I got in here? It looks like just some random hardware from the engine. Some washers. Got a spark plug gap checker. You know, here's the the U joint or whatever it is for my uh, winch. Oh, these are extra shims too for the for the rocker arms. But you know, that's you know that's minor. So I wouldn't I wouldn't do this on the trail. I just have extras and I threw them in here. And then I got a bolt for the um, frame horn for the transmission mount or mount to the transmission and engine. So that's good to have. I had a friend that had one fall off when he was out on the trail and he had to put a, he had to throw a screwdriver in there to get back to the camp so he could try and find a bolt. But you know, so now I just keep one with me, learn from his mistake. <clears throat> and then I got some other safety equipment back here. I got fire extinguisher. I got recovery ramps. I got a, a base for my high lift jack. And you know, it's strapped down with a ratchet strap. So if I ever, you know, need to use, need a ratchet strap, I got one right there. Uh, I got, obviously, I got my spare tire, got my shovel. Um, and then I have a bag of tools over here. Yeah, so I got my big old cobalt bag full of goodies one thing that I really love to have is a good you know little impact socket it helps changing parts and and everything just be super fast when you're out there on the trail I got my 36 mil uh, socket and uh, you know it's half inch drive so you know I have my half inch heavy-duty ratchet and on there I have a lug nut socket. I have a half inch extension. I got, you know, adjustable, or yeah, adjustable wrench. I've got my sockets. I got my, um, so this is a wrench for my AN fittings. I just threw it in here because I just got those installed. You know, socket wrench. Another, it's good to have two adjustable wrenches. You know, I got my, you know, different um, Allen wrenches, star nut, or Torx bit, and metric and standard, you know. Not just for me, well actually I don't have standard, just metric, you know, just in case anybody else needs it. When I'm out here, obviously, good pair of vice grips. Um, oh, I don't have my Phillips head screwdriver, but... I have some other flatheads, you know, various sizes, and then this is for my axle, 
just in case a bolt comes loose, I guess. Um, I don't have an extra axle, which would be good to have, but yeah, that's just some of the things I bring with me.
hey what's up so i like to give this thing a good once over before i uh get back on the main road you know just in case anything's gonna fall off you know and so far these these an lines on my oil cooler are working great you know not a single drop of oil coming out of them but um as you can see there's still oil coming out of my oil bypass which i don't really i don't know what else to do there's brand new seals in there um there's like a little seal inside this um uh, fitting um there's like an o-ring that goes on the inside and i replaced those o-rings you know it still looks like they're seeping oil a little bit and then around the filter you can kind of see there's oil seeping around there and I don't know, there's probably a better solution for it, uh, for that setup, but I haven't figured it out yet, or really looked into getting something different yet. You know, maybe that's something to look into. You know, the bypass works great. You know, my, my car stains, in, especially with this um, oil cooler, it's all good. Oh yeah, so I put this on here. I hadn't actually taken it for a little test drive yet, but yeah, this seemed to work pretty good. I didn't really hear it rattling too much. So that worked, you know, for now. Usually I have uh, an actual high lift cover that goes on here, and then I put a, uh, a bungee strap, but I had used this to, I'd use my high lift jack to pull a, a post out of my fence the other day and then never threw the cover back on. I just threw it back on my car. I was like, I'll do it later. And then I took it out and forgot that it wasn't on. So I got out here and it was just rattling <laughs> like a paint can. Yeah, it is what it is. Took care of it. Um, but yeah, about to head back. Um, got some more stuff to do around the house. Uh, got to finish some drywall. And what else do I have? Yeah, there's just a lot. Yeah, we got to remodel the bathroom. I'm waiting to hear back from a contractor about that. I think I'm gonna let them do the uh, the bathroom remodel because it's just a lot and they're could be mold or whatever and I don't really want to deal with that so I'll let them take care of it and uh, I'll do the easy stuff that I can handle um, got to replace the deck out back too I want to do some sort of like cement pa uh, pad out there you know something you know a little decorative or whatever and then build a deck around the the pool once that gets installed <clears throat> maybe put a shade over it and obviously still got to do electrical and um, I got some insulation that's on the way for the garage and got to put lighting in there and um, electrical sockets so um, yeah I'm thinking about a lift I'm kind of on the fence about putting a lift in there I don't know if I want to go that crazy with it and how it's gonna fit it's only the garage is only 20 feet wide by you know it's less than 20 feet wide on the inside and um i did get i did pick up a big workbench yesterday uh it's 14 feet long three feet deep and i have it leveled for my chop saw oh yeah so here's the the workbench that i just got just kind of wanted to show you guys yeah it should be good it's not fully put together yet uh, I'm getting there. I just have to put on another um, shelf on the bottom. But yeah, here it is. I got it sitting pretty level. I don't know if it's just my driveway. Maybe it's not 100% perfect, but you know, as you can see there, it's not exactly perfect, but it's pretty close. Um, and this thing, I think, slides, slides across there nice and smooth. So I, I think this will be a pretty good product. But yeah, back home. Ready to get to work or go relax, maybe eat some lunch, maybe have another cup of coffee. We'll see. Alright, later.